so welcome to wikitiki.com here is on cloud computing so we are trying to show the live cloud server the interview and questions and the answers and apart from the tutorials everything we are going to see it now from wikitiki.com my name is venkat i am a microsoft most valuable professional i am a certified sorry I am a certified and recognized expert on cloud from microsoft.com. So we'll be, we are going to see the live cloud demo in this video. Let's talk about the cloud computing intro. See this is a computer so which is really connected to the server and this server is monitoring this computer. Once the network becomes bigger the monitoring becomes tougher for this particular server. Still, if the computer is increased more, the network is really bigger and monitoring system becomes really slow and is it tougher for us. And apart from this, so there is a possibility that the network is crashed or the server couldn't monitor a particular specific networks. This is where we need multiple servers to monitor and a dedicated server with a very high end configuration may resolve this kind of issues. So you are able to see the website is busy or lots and lots of errors coming up due to the server which couldn't serve the computers around the network. This is how the network crashing is happening. So to overcome this one, we got the cloud servers, a dedicated servers which will take care of processing all the requests from the customers. So these are all some of the biggest cloud service providers through which the servers can be rented. So in the previous one we are able to see it here this is my server and I'm struggling to take care of the thing. So retaining the server, monitoring the server and taking care of the server becomes a tedious process. Whereas I gave this option to the cloud service provider. So taking care of the server is this guy's job and also like uh, we'll be renting the server to do to do our processing systems. So there is a huge breakdown or burden which is taken out from the companies or end users and it's given to the service providers via the cloud. So cloud computing is like renting the servers or services and utilizing it as a cloud computing. You are able to see this is a cloud, I am trying to load the file or I can load the applications, I can load my website. So that any users can access this one. So, so tracking down or monitoring it becomes really easy. That's how the cloud computing is. Still further, you are able to see there are different types of users, individuals, corporations, non-commercial people and government. So, so from any users, they are able to access the services or storage or network or operating system via the cloud middleware. These are all the specialized software which is given by the cloud service provider to access the resources by the end users. This is how the cloud computing architecture is. Now let's see the definition. What is cloud computing? It's a type of computing that relies on sharing the computing resources rather than having local servers or personal devices to handle the applications. In cloud computing the word cloud is used as a metaphor for the internet. So the phrase uh, cloud computing means a type of internet based computing where different services such as servers, storage and applications are delivered to an organization's computers and devices through the network and internet. That's called cloud computing. You are able to see it got a lot of features like multi-tenant solution, pay as you go, modern web based integration web and mobile access, automated upgrades and automated backups. So these are considered as a major advantage of cloud computing. 
Now, still further, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is nothing but software as a service. Over here, the software is consumed as a service. And platform as a service. Platform considered as a service and infrastructure is considered as a service. The collaboration of a software, platform and infrastructure is referred to as cloud computing. The major advantage is like pay for use as needed elastic. So if I am looking for a very minimal storage, pay for that one. If I am using for a bigger storage, pay for that one. And elastic, I can extend and also reduce. Scale up and down in capacity and functionalities are the major advantage of cloud computing. So over here you are able to see it here. So the cloud computing will have the public access area, public web pages for the end users. And apart from this, you are able to see the secure data access is there, shared data storage and software streaming. So the companies can use it, it's a private kind of cloud, and also the public can use it to access our web pages or websites. This is how your cloud computing is working. Now let's talk about the components of cloud computing. Components in a cloud refer to the platforms like a front-end, back-end and the cloud-based delivery and the network used. Altogether, it forms an architecture for cloud computing. With the main components like software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service, there are 11 major categories in cloud. So they are storage as a service, database as a service, information as a service, process as a service, application, platform, integration, security, management, testing and finally infrastructure. These are all additional services which is associated with these three major services to form the cloud computing. So, software as a service, your App Engine, Google, Mazo are typical examples. For platform, it's a Gmail, Gliffy and Salesforce. Whereas, infrastructure as a service, you got a lot of companies, Amazon Web Services, Elvanix, Excalibur, Akamai, Joint, etc. Now, the question is, what is service model in cloud computing? You are able to see the major service models are three. The first one is infrastructure as a service. Allowed to set up and configure the operating system application and its settings. So you will be given a server. Put whatever you want. You want uh, a different operating system, put it. And install your operating system, whatever things you can do it. Over here, platform as a service. Over here, you'll be allocated with your specified operating system and you can put any applications and its settings. Software as a service, you'll be given a software, you can do whatever application settings you want. That's how the cloud is. Still further explaining your models, your software as a service will have the cloud infrastructure software which is placed in the operating system and it is placed in the infrastructure. So these are all associated for software. Whereas platform, you got your platform OS given which is placed in your server and it is given to you. Put anything you want, any application you want, you can put it. Any software you want, you can put it. Over here, infrastructure service, a server is given to you. Whatever you OS you want, you can put it. Whatever application you want, you can put it. Here only application can be put. Here only changes in application can be done with the software. This is how your examples are. And this is an example for SaaS, Lotus Live and Salesforce CRM. Over here it's a Windows Azure Google App Engine. Over here you are able to see your Amazon Web Services and Rackspace hosting. So, still further digging up your service model, so these are the typical examples. Your application service is this one, your application platform is this one, the server platform is this one, and the storage platform is given by Amazon S3, Dell and Apple.
so the important services service layers are services application development platform storage and hosting and these are all some of the typical examples under this particular services these are all important services which will be asked in the interviews too about cloud computing let's talk about the common characteristics of cloud computing so these are very important characteristics a yeah, massive scale how much big you want i can give it to you homogeneity you can able to use homogeneity virtualization you are able to create a vm machine and use it low cost software it becomes really cheaper resilient computing so whatever processing is done it's done remotely and you don't have any disturbances geographic distribution the data and computing process is geographically distributed service orientation so it's based on purely service orientation and you got advanced security that's an important one and still further on demand self service so on demand you can able to get the service broad network access you got a very big network access rapid elasticity you are able to increase and reduce it resource pooling you are able to allocate how much resource you want and measured service it's kind of a pay as you go how much you want pay for that as how your essential characteristics of cloud computing is let's talk about uh, the software as a service saas is a software delivery methodology that provides licensed multi tenant access to software and it functions remotely as a web based service usually built based on the usage usually multi tenant environment and highly scalable architecture so i'm going to rent a software from cloud and i'll be using it or accessing via the browser that's how the software as a service is i said we got lots and lots of interview question for you in go to youtube.com search for wikitiki interview tips for interview related stuff for school related is wikitiki school and for technology it's wikitiki technology tutorials and if and finally for health it's wikitiki health and entertainment you can subscribe to our youtube channel to get regular update from us and if you have any questions or comments you can post it in our youtube videos so that our expert team will answer it here is our website and our facebook url thank you from wikitiki.com